Hey you guys, it's William Kong from Wee Wee Blogs. <laughs> Definitely at Remy Wee Wee Blogs dot com. Bernard Pereira Wee Wee Blogs dot com. Loving that accent, honey. Yes. We we have now seen all seventeen countries rehearse twice, so it is time to go around and name our top three of Junior Eurovision 2016 ahead of the jury final, but after rehearsals. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Bernardo, why don't you kick us off with your number three? My number three is Italy. I think she was my favorite. She was my number one before before arriving in Malta for the rehearsals. I really think she has a very sweet voice. It's endearing. It's captivating. The camera work is really engaging as well. So I think, yeah, she's, a, she's going to have a, an extremely good an extremely good position in the final score. Yeah, she was my number one prior to coming here, but she's actually fallen down a bit. Not because of her, but because of the staging. It's a little underwhelming for me. Um, and I feel like it lets her down because she deserves more. But she's still fantastic. She's a sweet child and I yes. just love it. Yeah. In any case, Devin, what's your number three? What I'm finding is, this is such a tough competition. Yes. Are, you, are you finding that as well? Yes. So many of the acts are really good and everybody's bringing their A game. But this is where production really comes into yep. play. And I have to say, Israel are leaping into third mm -hmm. place for me. I love the dreamy duet. The fact that, you know, it's two worlds apart and then they merge yeah. center stage. I think that's such a beautiful message. Yeah, really strong entry. Great voices mm. on those kids. I worry that he outshines her yes. at times. Yes. I think he's perhaps more confident. I mean, he's obviously competing on the voice of Ukraine, so he's got that. But hopefully by Sunday, that you know, she'll bring out the best in her. As but she, she also exudes that feminine energy of just being very demure and being a silent storm. I don't think he outshines her. I think that she just brings a different element to the mix. But I think that as a power for one month, she needs to unleash that. <laughs> yeah, she, unle she needs to unleash the power. <laughs> In any case, it is time for my number three. My number three is Macedonia. <laughs> <laughs> Love is leading your way. Oh, yes, feel my heartbeat. Listen, this is the strongest entry that Macedonia has ever sent to any contest, adult or junior. She's got an amazing voice. Her voice, it, it could be the best in the contest. It's one of the best, certainly. She's got yeah. attitude and swagger. She's more mature than the other children. When you speak with her, you know, from subject matter to content to delivery, she's just more mature. This is a junior contest, so I have no idea how that will go down with the jury, but I love her. I think she's hilarious. I think she's got a great voice. And the song, the song is very catchy, serving that Caribbean take me to Barbados with a pina colada realness. It makes me want to breathe in the air, put on a hula skirt. I know that's Hawaii, not the Caribbean, whatever. She's just, she's really gone with something on trend. You can hear this charting in the United States, in the UK, in Portugal, in Nicaragua, in Paraguay, everywhere. It's just fantastic. What I really like about her is that she comes to the party prepared. I mean, she's not just kind of plugging this one single. At the Wee Wee Jam last night, she actually had pretty much, we had to pull the plug because she'd performed like three songs. It's like she still had more yeah. with choreography yeah. and all. I like that. Yeah. She, you know, she's using this as a platform to kind of further a possible career and I, you can't fault that in someone. She has a career. She will be a huge star. I'm sorry, Tiana Dapchevic. Who else? Um, Daniel. Esma Lozano. Ah, Y'all better move aside because there is a new Balkan queen. She is taking <laughs> over. Is. Yes. She's coming prepared. She came prepared. She, yeah. she came prepared. She, she's that kind of act that you know she came prepared and she came to win it. Yeah. She yeah. came to win it. She came Just to win a final it. point, not a girl, not yet a woman. I love where she is in her development, oh, musically, yeah. visually, spiritually. She gets it. In any case, Bernardo, it's time to move on to number two. My number two, surprisingly, it's the Netherlands. They were not not even close to my top. Then I arrived, I saw her, their performance, and yeah, they're killing it. They're killing it. Yeah, vo they're killing it. Vocally, dance-wise, this is so fantastic. It's ready for TV right now. It's ready yes, for the Disney really, Channel. Yeah. And the yeah. burst of color is really exciting. The fact that, you know, Kimura's got these yellow shoes on, Stair and um, Stephanie have got br um, blue and pink, and there's, you know, there's, it's like Destiny's Child costume almost. You know, yeah. one wears trousers, the other wears uh, skirt, yeah. the other wears shorts, but at the same time, there is a very strong thread of cohesion running through those. The um, harmonies, yeah. The harmonies are so good. 
that but, will appeal to juries for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. But unlike Destiny's Child, there's not one star. There are three. There is not one Beyonce and the Michelle and the other one Kelly. <laughs> they are all bringing it. Kimora, Stair, and Stefania. I love this. This is one of my you know top six as well. Um, in any event. And the choreography is tied. And it is perhaps the one entry that we all expect to do well. Yeah, it's very commercial as well. Yeah. I can hear this on the radio. Yeah, none of, none of them outshines another. The one, yeah, yeah. yeah, the other yeah. one. This really stands they, out. They blend together. They blend yeah, together yeah. really well. I like the close, close crops as well on the camera. They keep it focused on the girls. The girls are the star. Oh, and the fact that, you know, you know their makeup is diverse in itself. I think yeah. that's exciting. And they're getting their cues. Done, yeah. done, 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 done. 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 <laughs> and we are moving on to Debbins number two <sighs> the underdog is winning the game here I'm sorry I've got to give it to Cyprus yes. George Michalides kills it you know he is the one artist that is most faithful to his message yeah. you know he's basically about the dance floor and there are breaks in the song where he just showcases the most badass choreography. At one yes. point I'm thinking, Janet Jackson, look yes. out because you can sing, you can dance and you can remember your cues and focus on your camera angles. It's a lot to take in, but he slays. He slays and he's also very down to earth. Like I love how him and his group on stage, mm -hmm. they've got this swagger, this like, yeah, we here, we gonna do our thing. But then they're the nicest children you will ever meet. They are so sweet, so polite and so kind. Oh. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, the yeah, song. I love how he embodies the presence of the person who's with him. Yeah. So yesterday oh. when I was hanging out with him, he was very South London when he was talking yeah. to you. He was kind of Atlantic American. He was all American boy. Great. He's yes. great. And this song though, visually, it's also very stunning. The fire. He's bringing the heat musically and vocally and then he's bringing it led -E -E. It's just fantastic. <laughs> you oh, see the, the Yokohama drums, yes. you know? It's very... That's a great start. It's tribal. It's, it's Game of it's Thrones. Tribal. It's mystery. It's Game of Thrones. Zoroastrianism, yeah. Baku, like my fire, realness. Take me to I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, my number two... <laughs> is Bulgaria. Now listen, at the end of the day, this is a kid's contest. Children, innocence, sweetness, sugar, okay? Colt's head. Yes, exactly. Co coated with sugar and sweet and innocent. And that's what Lydia is. This is a child-friendly song, perhaps the most child-friendly song. And it's delivered with this, just this joy and optimism that you don't have past the age of 12 when you go to middle school and people start treating you real, real bad. She has maintained that love, that warmth. And it's just so sweet. And it really comes off on stage. I think people are underestimating this. I think this is visually beautiful. The explosion of colors, her, you know, princess dress. She stands there and spins in the middle of the stage and it brings tears to my eyes. Take me back to toddlerdom, honey. This makes me feel alive. It makes me want to reproduce and have children of my own so that I can put them on stage and become a stage mom. I just think she's got everything going for her, vocally, visually. When, when she looks into the camera, the big eyes, it's just touching. And not that it makes me want to cry, but it, it stirs something inside of me and takes me back to my, you know, pre-puberty self. <laughs> Honey, I need to tell you something. Sugar and spice make everything yeah. nice. And I think in Bulgaria's case, it's lacking a little bit of spice. Listen, she, has, a good she, has, a, she has an amazing voice. Don't, don't take me wrong. You know, she has an amazing voice. You know, one thing about competitions and contests in general is that it only gives you a snippet Three minutes is not a lot, a, a lot of time to get a real sense of, of a person's potential or, or what a person can do. At the Wee Wee not. Jam last night, I bet Lydia yeah. Geneva came singing Jennifer Hudson's And I'm, I'm Telling not. You. And I tell you what, she slays. Yes, yes but look, no, let me she tell slays. you this. When you eat a chocolate cake, you don't want spice in it. I want something sweet. I don't want cardamom and cumin and coriander <laughs> in my cake. I want the sugar, and that's what she's bringing. My second point is three minutes is enough to show what you've got because she's doing it on stage here at Junior Eurovision. I don't know what rehearsal y'all are watching. You should be screaming right now because this could really challenge and people are underestimating it. I think she's really good, but I have to come up with a ranking. You know, she was, I think she's super. She is super good. She looks great and she exudes that childlike quality, yes. which is perhaps absent in some of the other acts. But Absolutely. then of course, let's not forget the Junior encapsulates 10 to 16. So it's quite a- Nine to 14. <laughs> 
<laughs> wide berth. <laughs> In any event, it's time to move on to our number one, our personal winners. After rehearsal, it's not a prediction of who will win. It is just our favorite, Bernardo. My winner of Junior Eurovision is Macedonia. Oh, Ooh. where's your disco ball? And she, she was not even my favorite when I arrived here. So everything changed changed yes, when I arrived here. Changing. That's the beauty of this contest. Like you arrive and everything changes. And one day, um, she's sassy. Yes. She's really sassy. She has the voice. She has the choreography. She has the backing dancer. She has the LED. She has the production. She has the team behind yeah. her. She knows how to do promotion. Yes. She has everything to win it, I think. But I don't think how the jurors will react to the song. Yeah, it contrasts sharply with like Lady de Geneva, yeah. which is a child song, whereas this is more of an adult song. For me, it's going to be like, the juries will want to go back to what New Eurovision was a couple of years ago, more kid-friendly songs, or are they going to chase a more adult? Yes. Or they're going to have a more adult approach to it? That is the question. Debin, it is time for your number one. Well, and I'm glad we're at that point, because I need the water of life to revive <laughs> myself. <laughs> I have to give it to Russia. Sofia Fisenko and the Water of Life Project slays the pack. This is beyond brilliant. You know, there was a moment in the song when they all gather in that sort of choreographed cohesion mm. with a heart-shaped hug. Mm. It's perfect. It's perfect. And Sofia's voice is... Oh, listen, she is a Russian Barbie doll with Rapunzel-like hair. She's going to be a supermodel when she's older. Yeah, she's the next Polly. That's obvious that she's going to be, you know, whoever that Russian model Polina is. Gagarina. No, yes, Polina yes, Gagarina. absolutely. This song is spiritual. This song taps into my inner, like, caveman, something tribal. They stand on stage with these indigenous dresses, you know. It harks back to something very ethnic, yes. very true to their, you know, culture, ethnic traditions. And at the, the same time, fashion. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is Kitty Couture, done right by the Water of Life Project, honey. But can we talk about the music, though? Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's beyond stirring. Mm. When they start, from the moment they start, you're like, oh, and then you watch them for three minutes and they don't need pyrotechnics. They don't need explosions. The made wonders. Yeah, the all they need wonders. is Sophia and the song because alone it is strong. But I think the LED does work. The splish splash of yeah, the water yeah. makes this visually arresting. And did you notice they really, they stand in one place the whole time. There's choreography with the hands. Mm. Their hand game is on point. Arms. But it's captivating at the, yeah. at the same time. They don't need to flip. They don't need to jump. They don't need to stand on hoverboards. They're just, they're making it happen on their own. Yeah, yeah. And what I also like about it is that there are several, even though it looks really simple, it, there are actually lots and lots of elements. Mm. But the cohesion and the simplicity of it is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And the song is just, it's got a brilliant hook. And it hasn't, no, it's, this, is, this yeah. is really good. You can listen to it over and over and over and not get tired oh, of it, no. which is just fantastic. Put it on repeat. I'm, get, I'm curious to know what your number one is. Oh, my number one is Russia. Sorry. <laughs> I should have, yes, my number one is also Russia. I'm oh. so sorry to have interrupted you. I just got ahead of myself there. I think that this is among the better junior Eurovision entries ever. Like, perhaps it's one of the best. I mean, it's certain, yeah. 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 I, have no, I have nothing more to add. I mean, I could sit here all day. This is, this is my personal winner. I don't know if it will win. I think that the kids' jury, I'm not sure if they want something more fun, something more of an Armenia, or if they're going to be swayed by the kind of spirituality of the Water of Life project. Or fun from Belarus. I, I actually don't Bel know. It's hard to tell. It's, it's hard to tell what, you know what is actually being judged and you know what comes to the plate this year is really diverse it's very broad yeah. and it appeals to you know quite a wide cross section i must admit though if we're less binary about it and we have to really choose an act that sits between all genres probably macedonia ticks that box i don't know i don't think macedonia is a kid-friendly song i really don't i think t it's a teenage friendly song I, I think kids today listen to this I really think it's. It, it, I mean, should be wearing. It depends a, on the country. It really does, and that's the thing. <laughs> it, 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 that's but we're dealing with musical ex. I mean, the kids they choose for the jury are supposedly musical mm -hmm. experts, so they will probably be exposed to this type of music. You are correct. I just think if you're a traditionalist, when it comes to junior Eurovision, you think more 
Lydia the Geneva, ballad. Pinch the Cheeks, Cleste is very cute, adorable. Flamia. Yeah, Fiamma. Fiamma. Flame. As opposed flame, it's flame. to Caribbean Electro Realness. In any case, final point, we can all go around, one wild card, honorable mention, who else? My honorable mention is Belarus. Mm. The overboard. He has an insane choreography with the overboards. Yeah. It's really amazing. And it, the vocals are on point as well. While he's doing all that stuff, he's getting his cues. His yeah. camera cues are perfect. Yeah. It looks expensive. It looks high definition. It looks everything. It's funny. That's also my honorable mention is Belarus. I hadn't really rated this song until seeing the second rehearsal. In fact, I didn't really like the song early on, if I'm totally honest. Mm-hmm. But he's completely won me over. The choreography, these backing dancers add so much. It reminds me of the great figure skaters, pair skaters from the Soviet Union, the 80s and 90s. At times, they are on hoverboards spinning while holding hands. They build a pyramid. He climbs it and he jumps off, all the while maintaining really fantastic vocals. He fills the stage it's so bright and dizzying the background blue yellow green red comic book realness but then they're wearing yes yes, but they wear these red and white outfits and they still stand out it's just lovely i think this is one of belarus's better entries actually i echo all of that and i completely agree um but in the spirit of fairness, I'm going to pick Albania for my honourable mention. And that's because it's not about the gimmicks. It's not even about the wardrobe. Mm. It's not even about, OK, put your glasses down, let's put contacts in your eyes. Mm. This is about the power of the voice. Yeah. And Clester can sing like there's no tomorrow. I mean, it's earth-shattering to think that such a small little girl can belt all that power yeah. out. It's just remarkable. And I think she deserves a mention. At times I feel like when she hits that high note, I feel like I'm being sucked into a black hole. It's and it's unbelievable. like it's amazing. It, it's definitely an experience. It's and compelling. It, you cannot yeah, if if you're working here at the person they're like be, we were all day and she comes yeah. And, and yeah you stop oh, now I hear her again do you hear that they're, yeah. they're playing yeah. <laughs> you just stop. like you, you stop what you're doing and you look at the screen and speaking of stopping we should wrap this up there are so many other acts we would like to mention but there is not enough time they all have their strengths they all slay in their own and way and ultimately it is a competition so we have to be truthful to rankings <laughs> but in any case that's what we think what do you think you're going to let us know here on We We Blogs do add your comments down below because we love reading them like and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.